Hello there, everyone. Uh, I'm running a little bit late today, but it looks like I'm still starting close to on time. So, big special announcement. We are going to be doing some Hanabi later this evening. I will be streaming that starting in a few hours from now. I guess I'll probably shut the stream down in between, but I will fire it back up. Uh, that VOD is not going to be going on my YouTube, so if you don't catch it live or check it out in the first seven days, I think, since the channel posts the videos, it will be gone forever. But I did get permission last week from my friends that I play with to stream that, and uh, so hopefully people will enjoy watching that for a little bit of variety content. If you don't know about Hanabi, I will make some chat commands that fill you in, and I'm happy to answer any questions about the game in general. Our group plays a little bit slowly, so I will probably pull up some sort of bridge thing in the background. Now, <clears throat> I don't know how uh, adventurous I'm going to be, because I have kind of double booked this evening with uh, team practice for a bridge event that I've got coming up. Um, the Grand National Teams, I got asked by a few people from my district to play in that, and our first event is supposed to be, or our first practice session is supposed to be tonight. As with my Hanabi group, they also asked me not to stream, <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna have to shut the stream down for a little bit. I think we're only practicing for about an hour, hour and a half in the middle of our session. But we'll see if I can change their mind, or otherwise, if um, maybe I can just sneakily leave the stream on. Shh, you're not going to tell anyone, are you? Anyway, jumping into today's robot event, which I guess is what we're going to be doing for this part of the stream. Zenith Daylong reward. Yesterday we finished with the 60%, picked up a few bucks, and chunk of master points. I mean, you know, first place, first through tenth place seemed to get 25 to 30 points, but we were down here in 123rd and we picked up seven. Uh, these were our results and, <clears throat> you know, uh, in a lot of these events things are a little bit random as you may have noticed in general, but uh, we did quite well yesterday. Despite getting no complete tops, I mean, you might think that 1,100 would be a <clears throat> would be a very strong score, but other players were getting the same result. Uh, same thing with 570. You might think that would be a good score, but we did have one push. But I think a big thing yesterday was we got very few scores below average. I mean, you know, we see a 25% on one of the boards, 34, 35 on a couple of them. Uh, but for the most part, we were above average on all of our hands, which resulted in a pretty good set overall. Um, so just taking a look at the two boards I mentioned, the two hertz doubled where we collected 1100. Reiterating, vulnerable against not, you really don't want to be overcalling with weak suits. Too often, the opponents are going to, or strong opponents are going to be greedy and go after you, and when you have a bad suit, you get into a ton of trouble. So, you know, despite North-South even making 12 tricks in no trump and having a small slam, 1100 just doesn't compare with 990. I only say that because one pair actually bid six no trump. They had the auction one no trump, two diamonds, six no trump, which I do not think is a good auction, but it works out here with the eight of spades just barely being good enough to provide an extra trick and, of course, the king of clubs on side. Um, our other good result, or one, one of our other good results yesterday that I kind of wanted to bring up because I thought that this was very strange, was this auction where we defended four spades, and what happened was on the opening lead, partner led a club, and we were actually able to deduce a lot about partner's distribution based on the opening lead in the auction, with West not having opened a five-card major, we knew that our partner had at least three spades and at least six hearts, and based on the opening club lead, we knew our partner had at least three clubs. So 
it it seemed as if partner had either a singleton or avoidant diamonds and our thinking was why would partner not lead a singleton diamond which meant when we eventually got in with the ace of clubs we tried to give our partner a diamond rough and this could have gone spectacularly poorly you know had west worked out and hopped up with the diamond queen I'm not entirely sure why West didn't hop up with the Diamond Queen, but I guess it, you know, maybe there's some chance that North has Singleton King. Um, the Nine of Clubs is obviously good for a Diamond discard, so West doesn't need to worry about that too much. Uh, but when the Diamond ran around to the Jack, we were actually in good shape, and of course when Declara ducked this trick, we were in even better shape. So. We did defeat four spades, but in opening diamond lead would have made things a lot easier. I mean, if we turn on the double dummy analysis, yeah. So it looks like an opening diamond lead is actually the only lead that defeats the contract. And I think leading a singleton against a suit contract is pretty normal. Maybe the robots only like leading doubletons. And with singletons, they're like, no, no, we don't want to do this. We'll get our rough later, don't worry. Uh, but all right. Let's jump into today's set. Zenith day long reward. And take a look at our first hand. So two passes to us. The six high card points. Um, I mean, I'm gonna pass. I'm in general not a huge fan of psyching. Most of the time, I also kind of want this to be more of like an educational channel rather than a like, let's just try and do something crazy and hope that it works out. I think that opening something like a no trump does have some merit in these positions. Uh, you just need to be well aware of what you're supposed to be doing afterwards if you psych, and especially if you're playing in um, like the ACBL or one of these events that has very, very strict regulations about psychs, you don't want to be doing this too often. But the general strategy would be you open a no trump and then no matter what your partner does next, you pass, which exposes the psych to everyone at the table. So at least your partner's not gonna have an auction like a no trump, two clubs, two spades, and then they bid three no, and you get into a lot of trouble. Um, but it kind of takes away bidding space from the opponents. They get to preempt. They aren't as comfortable with what they're supposed to be doing next. Uh, but we're just going to pass. We're going to let the opponents do their thing. I also just kind of expect that we're going to take more tricks than the field in general in these hands, so we don't need to win match points by doing wild things in the bidding for the most part. If it looks like a natural hand to psych with, I might try it. Uh, in certain cases, but for now, we'll just pass this out. And it looks as if our partner probably has close to a maximum passed hand. The opponents have stopped in one no trump as opposed to trying for game even. Maybe a little conservative by East, but with four triple three, I suppose I understand. Um, two spades lead. That could be from like king queen fourth, which would be bad. Normally, what you want to do is give count. In this situation, if dummy is winning a honor such as the queen or lower, um, <clears throat> versus no trump, so I'm gonna do that. I mean, this is the proper signal to give, and it's good to be in the mindset of trying to give the proper signal, so that when we aren't playing with the robot, maybe we can. Uh, at least be prepared for doing the right thing for our partner in tempo in a lot of these spots. So we'll give a count signal. <clears throat> Two jack, nine king. Huh. Okay, so maybe our partner has led from queen fourth. Maybe partner has led from ace fourth. I think all of those are possible. Seven of clubs, did we open a club? We did. We opened a club over here. So. I think I should win the ace and play back spades. I don't really see any reason to do something other than this. Declare seems very likely to 
set up the club suit on this sort of line of play. Uh, I'm going to signal for diamonds. You know, suit preference here, I have a choice between two equal spots. Partner's going to figure that out when, when uh, Declare shows out. And, you know, again, I'm not sure this robot partner is watching, but we, uh, we at least do get a bit of a suit preference in. So here, I could ditch my spade. So the seven of spades is high. Um, I could ditch my spade to let partner cash a spade and remain on lead. Alternatively, I could win the spade to play, for example, a diamond through. I think I want to leave partner on lead to play diamonds. Maybe that's not true. No, you, you know what? I, I think I should... Um, I should win the spade to play the ten of diamonds through. I think that makes the most sense. Our partner could have started with like king double ten of diamonds, and so we kind of want to. Okay. Kind of unlucky that Declare has all of the cards. I mean, I mean, maybe to be expected. We knew that Declare did not have a lot of values in. Uh, spades or clubs to begin with, so. <clears throat> well, I mean, with both the ace and queen of hearts on side, there wasn't a whole lot we could have done on this auction. I, I would have opened partner's hand 100%. That would have found our spade fit, and maybe we would have taken the contract in two spades. I mean, two spades is going to go down, it looks like. We have two spade losers, two heart losers, two diamond losers, a club loser. So we're only taking six tricks, but minus 100 would still be better than minus 120. Obviously, the opponents might be able to double us in that contract, which would be bad. Um, <clears throat> well, probably not much else to say. I mean, we did get our two spade tricks and two clubs and a heart. The opponents misguessed the club suit, although they played it in a pretty natural way, I believe. All right, maybe somewhat of a flat board. Uh, we'll see afterwards, but on to the next hand. I have 11. I am generally a fan of opening 11 counts with most expert partners. I don't think I'm going to change that with the robots. It, it just feels wrong to me to pass hands with 11 high card points. You have more than your fair share of the deck, so you want to let partner know. <clears throat> a heart by West, two hearts by our partner. Uh, I should probably bid two no trump. I mean, we have hearts stopped. And we found the no trump game. All right, so how are we doing? It looks like partner had 16, so if we had passed, maybe our partner would declare three no trump. This doesn't really seem like the kind of hand where the player who declares matters much. I mean, I guess East might have led diamonds. And we do have two black aces to knock out, so um, the heart lead gives us time to do all the things we want. Well, just in case this overcall was on five small cards, I mean, I doubt it. Uh, we may as well duck the heart. And then I suppose we go after the club suit first. That makes the most sense to me. So let's win the... I guess let's win the Jack of Hearts and work on clubs. We'll try and maintain the fourth round of clubs in our hand 
to give us access to like the Spade King maybe. Um, oh, clubs are 4 1. And caching the Spade Ace is good for us. Now we have some chance to actually squeeze East maybe in Diamonds and Spades. Uh, if two rounds of spades had been ducked, we might have been forced to guess what was going on. I mean, we could have played west for, for example, like ace third, and then ducked a spade out of our hand, but... Um, all right. So now we just cash all of our tricks. If seven of spades is not good, then we play king of diamonds, diamond to the ace. This is not really a complicated squeeze to pull off. All we need to do is count the spade suit. So there's one spade discard, there's a heart discard, now we play a heart to the ace, there's another spade discard, so now we can actually claim it looked like east was getting squeezed in the point suits, so we get 660. Probably an okay result. Um, to break up the squeeze, they actually would need to lead diamonds a trick one. So maybe we did a good thing by opening. We got to kind of right side the no trump in a sense, uh, if that's how you put it. I mean, putting west on lead instead of east. East has what looks like a pretty clear diamond lead at trick one. And west, of course, elected to lead their own suit. Well, I say of course, but the robots never lead their own suit, so. Uh, all right, board three. Nine highs. I'm very tempted to open this one as well. Favorable. Uh, but I think my suit's a little too weak, my heart suit. Like if I had six diamonds and four hearts, I would probably open this a diamond. But being forced into opening a heart on such a poor suit, I don't think is what I want to do. I suppose also if I had spades instead of hearts, so if my hand was like spades and diamonds, then I might open a spade as well, because that could preempt the opponents, um, or find our spade fit and we could compete to a good part score. But when we have hearts instead of spades, I'm just going to pass. Uh, diamond pass two clubs. I should probably come into this auction. Once again, we're favorable. We might have a good save. You know, if they decide to double me in two hearts, so be it. Maybe I'm going for 800, but uh, I think it's going to be tough for them to do this when they're vulnerable. <laughs> okay, okay, fair enough. Um, <clears throat> yep. Got it, got it. So what is double? Is double takeout or is double? Double's penalty, apparently. Hmm. Not really the auction that we wanted, but I'm gonna pass. I don't want to bid three diamonds. That's a level higher. All right. Well, they do have a game, it looks like. It looks as if they have a no trump game, probably. So... Our objective is basically to go minus 500, which is five tricks. I suppose that's probably going to involve something to the effect of drawing trumps. Wait, double shows a singleton club, Craig says. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, yes, like their system is a little, is a little convoluted, but I have noticed that oftentimes they kind of violate these shortness agreements just because they don't have a descriptive bid for their hand. Um, but I suppose we'll see. I, I kind of expect a second round of clubs to get played, yeah. Okay. So what do I actually want to do? If I rough and lead a heart to the king, Hmm. 
So going for 500 means we need five tricks. I'm pretty confident about taking this heart trick, I'm pretty confident about the heart king, and I'm pretty confident about the spade ace. I guess I could... <sighs> I, I mean, it, it looks as if diamonds should be 4-1. I mean, west might be like... I guess on a good day, West is like 4 4 3 2 with just the Diamond Ace and not the Queen. Um, okay, well, anyway, I should rough this trick. And so we need four more tricks right now. I'm, I'm looking at at least two. I should be able to rough a spade in my hand for a third trick. We're gonna need a little bit of help to get up to minus 500. And, I mean, that could come in the form of the Queen of Diamonds being on side. I guess that's possible. It could come in the form of... Hmm. Well, so what are my options? I guess my options are... to just try and set up diamonds immediately. Like, I could lead the king of diamonds out of hand. Um, West can win the ace, and if West is out of clubs, like Queen of Diamonds, Diamond Rough, Club Through, I Rough, Over Roughed, Diamond Rough, Club Through, Roughed, Over Roughed, uh, not really the greatest line of play that I've ever seen but maybe that's kind of the best I can do. Like, I could play a heart to the king and then just take a diamond finesse. That's gonna work out beautifully if the queen of diamonds is on. But if the queen of diamonds is off... Also, Heart to the King kind of exposes me into losing the entire heart suit. Like, when West has Ace, Queen, Ten, Ace, Queen, Ten, Fourth over there. Uh, feels like... I don't know, I, ju I just don't see a good line of play that gets me four more tricks if the Diamond Queen is not on side. So I, I think I am risking going for 1100 if I do this, but this feels like a sensible thing to do. I mean, if the Diamond Queen's on, we're very, very happy. Play heart to the king and try the nine of diamonds. All right, diamond queen is on. I mean, that could have been singleton, so like, you know, it's it's actually very possible that um, yeah. So it looks like leading the king of diamonds also would have kind of come to a similar result, albeit we would not have pulled a trump in that case. Uh, but here this looks pretty good, right? We get five more tricks. Wait, are we making this contract? Oh no, we don't get five more tricks. We get four more tricks. So we're down one. That looks incredible. I am...
pretty pleased with that result. So let's ask again, did the opponents actually have a game? It looks like five clubs makes their way. Uh, three no trump, I guess technically can be defeated if I lead the king of diamonds at trick one. which I don't think I would do, um, or if partner was on lead and led a diamond. So I think we did pretty well. It's hard to imagine doing better than minus 100 on this board. They also didn't get their diamond rough, which is kind of a big deal. I mean, East West could have led a diamond back when diamond went to the queen, king, and ace um, to get an extra trick defensively. Yeah, just needed West to have all the high spades and not unblock, or for the spades to be blocked. Sure, that would have been nice, but I also don't think that that was very likely. Um, all right, what's going on in this hand? We have a good, good hand and supportive hearts. But I've seen partners over calls before. I think I'm going to give them some leeway and only raise to three hearts. <laughs> like with, with a human partner, I would probably be good enough to bid three spades here, but I, I think I'm just gonna bid three hearts or, or four hearts even. One of those bids seems more, more logical, but so I'll just bid three hearts. Four spades, pass, pass. Well, now we know something weird is going on. Uh, I mean, my first instinct is to double this. I wonder how often partner pulls the double if it's correct. Like, I, I kind of want partner to pull to five hearts with a spade void, but with a singleton spade, I'm hoping that he would pass the double. Like, two hearts should show a very, very strong hand, and I'm suspicious that we might either get two spade tricks, or we might get a spade, a club, a club rough, um, plus a heart. Maybe the jack ten of diamonds will be good enough for a trick. I don't know, at match points it's just like if we think this contract is going down more than 50% of the time, we should go after it. And I think we're pretty borderline on that. Well, maybe with a singleton club I would be more, more on board with the double, but I'm just going to pass. Um, I guess we'll find out if we did okay. So let's dump the jack. I don't want partner to try and like cross to our hand somehow. All right, so partner started with ace, king, queen, sixth of hearts, and maybe not much else which I suppose makes sense. Uh, you know, West was bidding as if they were playing with a 30-point deck, and it seems as if that's the case. Seven, nine, queen. <laughs> Do I put in the 10? <laughs> Seven, nine, queen. I guess I'll play low. It looks as if Declare is guessing everything correctly <laughs> on this hand, so maybe we were not going to beat it. Do we get a club? We don't. Craig says, nice two spade raise. Oh yeah, 
That's that's actually quite a strong hand over there. Nine high card points with four trumps. Um, but it falls right in the middle of their range, right? Three or more spades, six to ten total points. The doubleton gives them one more. So they have ten total points <laughs> on this on this hand. So it's a maximum two spade raise, don't worry. Uh, how do we do in five hearts? We lose two clubs, we lose two diamonds, and that's it. So five hearts would have been a good save. Maybe we should have searched a little more for it. I mean, okay, they, they can bid to five spades and make their contract, um, but that's a bit tough of an ask for them. I think we're likely to escape for 500. Maybe if I jumped to four hearts originally with South's cards, we would get there. I've just seen all too often that partner has overcalled on like a 5 3 3 2 11 count, <laughs> vulnerable at the two level. All right, what have we got going on here? A club, a diamond by East. I think I should bid a heart. A no trump, double. Support double. Wow. I guess my hand's a little too strong to consider passing this, and the colors aren't really right for it. Uh... So I guess I'm just bidding four hearts. That sounds right to me. <laughs> support double. <laughs> I, I don't know if this should be a support double. I guess so. I don't know. I mean, I'm a little concerned four hearts might not make. It looks like we probably have at least one diamond loser, at least one trump loser. And if partner has no help in spades, we could be losing two spades, but... I guess I'm going to trust that the field is going to be here, and hopefully that's okay. Ooh. Well, good news is that diamonds are 5-1, so I don't really need to guess what's going on. Yeah, I say that, knock on wood that I've seen enough of these four card overcalls, even though they alert it as five plus. Yeah, Craig, I, I think we play that as just like values and stuff. That seems more natural to me. Um, hello, Bridge Hack. Do I know you, like in real life? You. That is a lot of exclamation points for a, for a first time viewer in the chat, but welcome to the stream. Howard Liu, awesome, awesome. Welcome, welcome, good to see you. I know we haven't been in touch in a while. Um, all right, so what's going on here? Well, let's hop up with the Diamond Ace. I mean, I'm, I'm like lacking dummy entries. The Seven of Spades is going to be the bane of my existence, isn't it? If only that was like the Four or the Deuce. We could cross twice in the Spade suit. Uh, so I suppose we want to like run the Queen of Hearts, the photo. Oh, sorry. There's there's no photos by usernames on my on my screen. I can pop them open. But how are you doing, Howard? I have been away from Bridge for a very long time, so I know I haven't seen you playing recently. But hope everything's going well with you. Um. Yeah, I'm glad to be back. I've only been back for like a month or so, but been doing some of these streams on Twitch um, and YouTube and whatnot. And it's been fun. 
What am I looking at on this hand? I kind of want to play a spade to the jack now. My dummy entries are a little scarce. I expect the Heart King to be offside, given the one no trump bid. So that makes sense to me. It's a little awkward if the spade hook loses, I guess. Then I might get tapped uncomfortably. But let's give this a shot. Oh, this long pause is not <laughs> is not <laughs> good for me. Uh, yikes. Oh no. <laughs> well, this hand could have gone better. This hand definitely could have gone better. I guess the good news is we weren't making four hearts no matter what I did. Or is that true? I guess I can pick up the spades given the singleton eight. Yikes. Oh, this is this is really bad. <laughs> rough. Spade rough. Diamond rough. Yep. Alright, three down. Well played. Well played. Good defense ops. I don't feel like my play was that unreasonable, spade to the jack at trick two. I was then going to play ace of hearts and a heart, and everything would have been fine. Shucks. Oh well. On to the next board. Pass by east. We'll open. Diamond, a heart. I don't have a fit for partner and my suit's a little weak. I think I'm just gonna bid two diamonds. This, this feels a little closer to a three diamond bid, but I'm gonna be a bit conservative. Oh, and partner bids two now. Excellent, now we get to raise. Okay, so how are we doing on this hand? It looks pretty positive. We have plenty of dummy entries. The diamond suit is likely to provide a number of tricks. Almost everything is pretty well stopped. Thanks for the good luck wishes, Howard. Good to see you. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm probably going to be doing a bunch of these streams. I tend to stream every day, but I know you're West Coast, or at least you used to be. Um, <laughs> take care. I'm sure I'll see you around. So, we should probably go after the diamond suit, right? That looks best. I'll lead the nine. I don't expect East to kind of mistakenly do something if I lead the nine, but maybe it would have worked. Cash is the hard ace. Sure, that was a good thing to do. And we get to claim. Four sixty. I mean, we're off two aces. Very unlikely that Slam is going to have much play. So pretty happy with the result. I think we got to the right spot. Um, I guess you could say partner did well to rebid two no trump. But I mean, this is a good eleven, despite only the small doubleton diamond in support. Two tens, three kings. King Jack ten nine of hearts looks like a good holding. Yeah, I, I think if I was playing with a human partner, I might have bid three diamonds with my hand, but um, it's close. It's close. We do only have 13, and the 10 of diamonds probably would have made me more interested in pushing. All right, 12 highs. Let's open a club. Partner bids a heart. We're going to bid a new trump. And okay, well, how do I convince them not to knock out my King of Diamonds entry? <laughs> I don't think I can do that. All right. You know, I, I have had some viewers complain about not trying for enough beers, so I'll preserve the Seven of Diamonds on this one. Two diamonds to the ace and 
queen or king? I'm going to play the king. It kind of looks stronger to me to play the king than the queen. So maybe East won't will switch suits or something. Uh, it looks like he thought about it. And then went after the diamond suit anyway. Okay, well. We could just try to run the club suit immediately. I. My worry is that if I do something like lead a spade to the king, and it loses, the opponents might just take a million tricks. Like, I guess they could be taking... It looks as if the diamonds are 4-4, but there's no guarantee. I have seen the robots lead fifth best before. And return low from a double 10. I mean, this, this really strongly does look like 4-4 diamonds. Um... Like, they could be taking three diamonds, three spades, and two hearts for two down. And if the clubs are splitting, I could just cash the first... Well, I could take six tricks. Uh... The thing is, I can't really, like, do both, right? If I play king, king of clubs, queen of clubs, overtake, jack of clubs, I'm kind of committed. Whereas if I lead a spade immediately, I mean, maybe someone with 10 fourth of clubs ditches a club sometime during the play. I guess if I play three rounds of clubs and lead a spade up, I have established extra tricks for the opponents, so they might take like three diamonds, a club, two hearts, and a spade. How many is that? That's seven tricks. I'm going to lead a spade to the king. This could go very badly, but it feels like the right thing to do. And I don't see anything else to do other than try the club suit at this point. Two low spots looks good. And okay, we have made our contract. Is there any reason to continue playing? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, we'll just take our seven tricks. Pretty happy with the result overall. Looks as if had we gone about the clubs first, we would have also reached the same result, although Maybe we have to make some uncomfortable discards. Diamonds were 4-4, four, four. so that's a good thing to note. Uh, but yeah, probably not much to say about the deal. Um, partner had 9 and passed a no trump. I think that makes sense. Okay, pass pass a club by east. I'm not going to make a takeout double. Spade by west. Partner makes a takeout double, showing hearts and diamonds, and we get a support redouble by east. Well, I think it's pretty natural to bid two hearts. I, I could bid like a no trump. I, I don't think this bid is terrible. Like, sure, we don't have a club stopper, who cares? Everyone favorable or everyone not vulnerable at match points, you want to bid a no trump first. But our partner could be 5-4 in the red suits. Partner could be even be 5-5 five, five in the red suits. So I think bidding two hearts makes more sense. I guess 
you know, we could think about bidding three hearts. Forcing to three no Trump. Well, that... <laughs> I don't know about that description. Okay, we'll just bid two hearts then. Two spades by west, three hearts by our partner, and three spades by east. I don't think so, opponents. This is this is not a good auction. So they've I mean look, West could have a six card spade suit, but East only has three. This three spade bid is just I don't really understand it. It's probably just not a good bid, no matter what East is looking at. Hmm. <sighs> This is tricky. I kind of expected to make three hearts. I mean, I have excellent diamond support for partner and not all that much in terms of wasted values in the black suits, but my hearts are a little weak. It's, it's close. I mean, we have 10 highs. The jack of diamonds is probably not worth that much. We do have what looks like a natural trump trick. Um... I would be more interested in doubling if my diamonds were, like, my clubs. Then we would know that East club suit is not particularly strong. This does feel very close to me at match points. Like, I think we were getting a plus score, but they might also be getting a plus score. Let's give it a try. I mean, this bid feels like it's made based on heart shortness, which seems then as if East might have diamond length. I don't know, is that a good reason to double? Like, West could have diamond shortness. Close decision, close decision. All right, I'm just gonna pass. I'm just gonna pass, I, I don't know. That's, um, wow. What a dummy. So partner leads the king of hearts. We want to discourage, because we do not have the jack. Club, club, ooh, and a club. Oh no, <laughs> partner could not overrough that trick. Well, and now another club, perfect. Uh, let's cash the Ace of Diamonds, let's cash the Queen of Diamonds, and let's play a heart. And dummy's good, so I guess we did the right thing by not doubling. What a rotten hand. West has five high card points and bid twice, which convinced East to bid all the way up to three spades. How do we do in four hearts? It looks like we lose two clubs, a heart, and two spades. So we're two down. If the opponents double us, I guess we get a bad result. Yeah, and it looks like East is all prepared to double us, no matter where we end up. Okay. Well, we ultimately made the right decision, not doubling three spades. So, a club by east. I'm gonna overcall spade. Five card spade suit, always wanna get into the auction. The three heart raise. Oh yeah, you know, I mean, I tend not to look at partner's hands. It uh, gives me some stress and anxiety after <laughs> watching what our partner has done on some of these auctions. Yes, it, it is true that the double has kind of showed partner's hand to some extent. Um, all right, what's going on here? Two diamonds past three diamonds. Weren't east-west in a game force as well? Uh, I don't think so. Which bid looks like it was game forcing? I mean, so like support redouble, 
no extra values. Two spades is like a weak hand. And I imagine that double instead of three spades might have been like maximal. So I think three spades is just a play. Um, but I could be wrong. Oh, you read something wrong? Yeah, I, I mean like, I don't know about these notes that are on the bid somewhere. Um, oh, I think, you, you know what you might have been looking at? I had flipped over a three heart bid in my position instead of two hearts because I was considering that with 10 highs. And supposedly three hearts by me would have been game forcing. <laughs> Not that I think that's the right way to play that bid either. Uh, what all happened? Two diamonds, three diamonds. Cool. What is this dummy? Dummy has 14 and a spade stopper and didn't try two no trump or three no trump. That's a little fishy, but I guess I'm happy that they're not in their cold three no trump game. Uh, I'm gonna try and discourage spades. I mean, I'm happy with either a harder club switch from partner, I think. You know, I say that, but <laughs> obviously now I get put in this uncomfortable position where a human partner would probably switch to the Ten of Hearts here. My robot partner may have done this holding the king. Um, and not the Ten. Hmm. Five of hearts. Oh boy. Five of hearts. What do we think West has? So West has turned up with the spade ace, the um, diamond ace, diamond king, I guess. One of those big diamond honors. Probably the club ace, so maybe not the heart king, or or West might not have the club ace and does have the heart king. So we're kind of at a guess as to what we should do from here. Hmm. I'm gonna try the nine. Man, defense is hard when your partner doesn't lead the right cards, isn't it? Uh, this five of hearts kind of looks high to me. All right, <laughs> good play by me. I I knew it all along. Spade to the nine. Sure. I guess I'm exiting spades. Club to the queen and king. We'll play a club back. Maybe this was a bad play. But all right, we took our plus 100. Not bad, not bad. I accept. Do, do the opponents make three no trump? It looks like they have two spades, four diamonds, and two hearts. No. Oh, but they might get a club, depending on how we defend. Gotcha. Gotcha. Not too bad. I'll take it. Oh, also, I'm on lead against three no trump, so it might be a little difficult for me to find the right opening lead. Uh, nine highs. Pass, pass, pass. A heart. Well, do we play two way dreary? No, just one way dreary. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. You had two of those in today's event. Bot led low from Jack-10 third through dummies ace-queen-x. So you didn't win the nine. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's uh <laughs> That's a special one. Um, two of them in one day is quite rare. This opening lead looks great for us. What all happened? Why are we getting the Ace of Diamonds lead? I wonder if that suggests that East has all of the missing honors because they felt obligated to lead away from an Ace. Well... So like, I mean, the normal thing to do is like pull trumps, the lead a spade to the jack, cash the spade king, and hope that the queen of spades falls three times to ditch both of our club losers. But I mean, if East really does have all of the honors, I kind of want to play spades the other way. It doesn't give us all of the tricks immediately, but if East has queen fourth of spades and the club king, I can squeeze him. Wait, is that true? Oh no, the jack and ten of spades are in the wrong hands. No, no. That's really sad. So there is no squeeze, unfortunately, because I don't have the entries. Uh. Does that mean I just have to take the normal line? King of hearts, heart to the ace, spade to the jack? It might, it might. I mean, I could, I could like run the jack of spades and then play for the club finesse on, but that kind of defeats the purpose of this read, doesn't it? All right, let's play the king of hearts. And let's... I guess play heart to the ace. Three of spades. Perfect. Now I'm, I'm kind of wondering. I mean, that three of spades discard is very strange. All right, anyway, let's let's just play a spade to the jack. I mean, this is probably fine. Wow, we did it. Look at us taking our 12 tricks. Okay, so someone explained to me why East led the diamond ace from this hand. Does that strike anyone else as weird? That seems a little weird to me. A spade feels much more normal. Um, looks like it didn't matter, double dummy. Well done, East. Well played. On a spade lead, I just have four spade tricks and the club king is on side. All right, strange. We'll take it. Well, this is a gross hand. What am I supposed to do with this? I guess I'm bidding two spades? That feels like the right amount. I mean, I could I could try three spades. Uh, I, I just would rather play in three no trump than four spades if partner has a singleton over there. I mean, we could pull a robot and pass. Maybe re being respectful of my partner, I should pass this hand. It's just... <laughs> no, I, I can't bring myself to do it. I'm going to open two spades. Three spades my partner. Three diamonds, four diamonds. I guess I'll pass. Wow! Four, four diamonds? <laughs> Only four? What a dummy! That 
That is shocking. Maybe they did the right thing. Maybe they're getting plus 130 on this hand. I mean, we might have two hearts and a club. Uh, okay, so what are we doing? Maybe I should ditch the nine of spades there. Kind of want to encourage hearts, but I'm just gonna like switch to the king of hearts when I get in. <laughs> Looks like Declare has everything. <laughs> Partner, you're not roughing? How about this trick? Okay, it looks like 12 tricks. <laughs> what a what a terrible four diamond bid. I think East is being a paid actor today. I mean, both both the Ace of Diamonds opening lead and, and the four diamond bid are uh, quite suspect. I might have to ask how much the opponents are paying him. Well, currently the entry fee was a dollar, so I'm paying East about 50 cents to throw all of the boards for me. Yikes. Partner was very conservative. <laughs> I mean, three spades is also quite conservative. Uh, Ace, king, jack, ten, fourth. Ah, yes, the law. Nine trumps means play at the three level. <laughs> you know, we have this 11 card fit, and we've managed to find our way all the way up to three spades. Ah, uh, excuse me, what? <laughs> pass, pass, pass? Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> How bad is it to open a club? I think I like opening a club and then just passing whatever major suit partner bids. I mean, this can go very poorly. We might not be entitled to a plus score on this, but I'm going to do it. Why not? Ugh. One heart. If I pass, how often are they bidding a spade? Like, always? It feels like approximately always. Ah, that's all right. Oh, we did it! We have won the contract. Now all we have to do is get a plus score. Expertly done. Hmm. So what do we want to do with this hand? We could win the Ace of Diamonds and like rough a diamond and start trying to pull trumps. We could like cash a bunch of diamonds, throwing spades and, you know, kind of try to rough a spade in the dummy. I suppose that has some merits. We could like win a diamond, take a club hook. Well, most important to me, I think, is going to be scoring plus 80 on this board. Like, plus 110 or plus 140 would be nice, but I don't care that much about those results. I think many players are just going to pass my hand out in fourth seed. So... Jack, six, three, ace. Three of diamonds. Okay. So if three diamonds cash, mm -hmm. then they'll kind of be forced to play trumps. So I will get at least three diamonds, at least two hearts, and presumably the club ace at least. Uh, I 
I guess the alternative, like I said, is to just rough a diamond now and then try and play trumps. That way I'll get presumably four diamonds, but we might have some difficulty handling the, the trumps in that case. I don't know, something I've learned is that when, when the opponents have a fit somewhere and no one is bidding, it means every single hand is balanced. So I don't expect a singleton club anywhere, I don't expect a doubleton heart even, it look, seems more likely that the heart suit is breaking 3-3 three, three than anything else. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of going back on my plan. I think I'm going to play three rounds of diamonds, and I'm going to play fourth round of diamonds, throwing all the spades from dummy. Uh, m maybe. <laughs> um, but something along those lines. Is that really true? Uh... Hmm. No, I'm, I'm changing my mind again. Let's rough a diamond and lead the queen of hearts. King of Spades and the King of um, King of Hearts over here, so that means the club hook has to be on side. And let's find out if I was right about the trumps. I was not right about the trumps. Okay. What is this defense? Why is he not roughing? No. No, we went down one. Could I have done better? Oh no. Spades were 5 3. Also, why is East not overcalling a spade? Oh, what a disaster. Jack of Diamonds lead, we won. I guess we could have done better by just playing on the diamond suit. My assumption about the hearts being 3-3 was incorrect, and that's kind of what I was going off of when I elected to rough a diamond at trick two. That is unfortunate. We also could have done better if I had just played on clubs as well, taken a club finesse immediately. I kind of like my line of play. It works out basically any time the diamonds split, I guess, and it works out when spades are 4-4. Four, four. I mean, it feels like spades have to be 4-4, four, four. otherwise why is neither opponent overcalling a spade with close to an opening bid? Oh well, sorry I opened partner. We got to a good spot, but then I just did not convert. Pass, pass to me. Well, I don't think that my choice between one heart and two hearts is really going to keep the opponents out of a spade contract. So I guess I'm going to open two hearts. It's a little more preemptive. Oh, 
Okay, well that fills in information about how often do the opponents balance. <laughs> this, this is a little weird, but I guess this auction does make some sense. So what do I lead? You know, there's the mantra, good enough to open, good enough to lead. I don't think that's true on this hand. I am very hesitant to lead hearts against this auction. I guess I'll lead a club. I could see an argument for a spade lead, but I mean, they might take a finesse into my hand. You know, they'd be more likely to take a finesse if I led a low club than a high club. Maybe a diamond's a good lead. You know, West has a strong hand. We're not really expected to hold aces. And clubs might just set up like dummy side suit, which would be, could be clubs, for example. So I could try something like the Ten of Diamonds lead. That obviously could immediately give up a trick. But it has some merit, I believe. Eh, I'm just gonna lead the Eight of Clubs. It looks like a somewhat normal thing to do. Whoa. So partner did not raise to three hearts with queen third. And it looks as if we let the opponents off the hook. Because now they've been able to find their spade fit and get to game. Is this a good dummy? Dummy had 14. I guess it's a pretty good dummy. And declare is void in hearts, obviously. Hmm. All right. Diamond. Sure. Long tank. <laughs> okay, Declare plays the queen. Huh. Spade switch. <laughs> how could how could we be any more clear that the queen of spades is offside? So it looks as if Declare has three diamonds, no hearts. It has to be only five spades, right? How could Declare have six spades? Also, why did Partner pop up with the queen of hearts on the first round of the suit? <laughs> that just means the ten of hearts is a stopper. If he has five spades... Oh, maybe East has like five diamonds. Five spades, five diamonds, or like five spades, five clubs? Hmm. I mean, I really want to play back hearts now to start tapping Declare when we get in with whatever cards it is we're winning. But because partner popped up with the queen, I can't do that anymore. So, okay, I'm just going to switch back to clubs. I don't want to play trumps. I don't think playing trumps is going to help. Diamond rough. Spade finesse. Heart rough. Roughed with the six. Jack of Diamonds. Mm-hmm. Well... I'm not sure my choice matters. 
I guess I should duck just in case declare was 5-5. Five, five. Hmm. That's a little sad. I mean, maybe they reach their spade game even if partner raises to three hearts, but I do not like partner's choice of passing two hearts. I mean, the whole point of preempting is to stop the opponents from coming in, and when we have this nine card fit, it looks pretty natural to do so. I mean, we do go for a large number. We lose two clubs, two spades, a heart, and I guess that's it. So we even have a good save in five hearts. Yeah, yeah, not really sure what partner was thinking. All right, pass by east. I am not going to preempt this hand. I don't think it's a good bid. A no trump pass, four diamonds. Well, four hearts all pass. Sure. I mean, like, we could make a takeout double. I don't think it's that unreasonable, but the colors aren't exactly right for it. You know, I think we... If we were favorable, I would be more in interested in trying this takeout double. Also, there's kind of the big negative that if we try double and partner passes, we might just be giving up 590. I'm not sure. I mean, like, we could also try four spades, for example. I mean, I, I don't think that description is accurate. Strong, rebidable spades. Uh, if we had strong, rebidable spades, we would not have passed in second seat. So four spades really should be take out with, like, spades being the primary suit. Um, but I think I'm just going to pass. I mean, we could have a good sacrifice, but also this might be going down. Hmm. That is a pretty good dummy. Okay. Declare had a heart suit. Six of spades. Well, I do believe Declare has two spade discards coming. Partner's opening, partner's high load in spades, so it looks like Declare had four spades, four hearts. And Declare has only turned up with the ace of spades so far, so they have at least 11 high card points in the minors. We haven't gotten any relevant signals from our partner yet on this deal. I mean, partner was basically forced to lead a high spade. They were forced to not play the queen of hearts on the first trump. They had to follow with their queen doubleton on the second trump, and then they had to play their remaining spade on this trick. So we really don't get any information about whether to play diamonds or clubs right now. I think I'm gonna go after the club suit. Why am I going after the club suit? Um, because it's the only suit we can take two tricks in. It's, it's a little weird, right? So Declare can't have both the Ace King of Diamonds. Otherwise, they would have just played the Ace King of Diamonds, ditching presumably a spade from dummy and not have this extra loser. I don't even know if Declare can have the ace queen of diamonds. Because then they might even take a diamond finesse. So 
it's like it's possible that our partner has like the ace queen of diamonds and declares remaining what did we say 11 high card points or 11 to 13 high card points consist of like all of the ace king queen of clubs and like the king of diamonds and so we need to play diamonds right now otherwise our ace of diamonds goes away that is very possible I'm actually starting to think that's likely. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's also possible that Declare has like the Ace King Jack of Clubs. Okay, I hope I'm not wrong about this. I'm gonna switch to a diamond. What? Didn't our partner high low in spades? Or did I lose my mind? Oh, our partner did high low in spades, but they had four of them. Oh, I did not consider that at all. So I, I guess my play didn't matter. <laughs> okay, well, my play definitely didn't matter because Declare could always win the Ace of Clubs, knock out the Diamond Ace, and then ditch their club loser. Um, <laughs> whoops. But yeah, I guess I miscounted or misguessed what was going on in the spade suit. I assumed Declare had Ace, Nine, Eight, Fourth from the opening lead and the and the subsequent play. Hmm. Well, it looks as if we do have a good save in four spades. Not that surprising when the opponents have an 11 card heart fit, but I wasn't convinced that they had an 11 card heart fit in the auction. Uh, we probably could have done a little better if we had opened two spades, then presumably our partner would have found the sacrifice, although he has been a bit shy about raising with four card trump support in the past. I don't know, the hand feels a little close. Like I said, if we were favorable, I might have balanced with either double or four spades here. Even at match points at teams, it's probably, it's probably worthwhile to balance at teams as well. All right, on to the next board. Pass a club, pass a no trump. I'll pass. So they get to play one no trump. I'll lead my longest suit. I think that makes sense. Perfect, perfect. Just the opening lead I had been hoping for. <laughs> uh, that's okay. I suspect we'll have a lot of company in that in that position. Nine of spades. Guess I'll cover. Eight, three. Sure, I encourage. Keep playing diamonds, pard. 
Ace of Diamonds. We can still play the two. No need to unblock yet. Queen of Diamonds. I think I need to unblock now. And then do I need to play a spade through? I don't think so. I think I just play a diamond. What? Oh no. This has not been a good set. <laughs> I don't feel like I've done all that much wrong. But I have not had good results with the way that I've been playing. super gross. I mean, this is one of these weird things where if partner can trust that we would lead a diamond from king fifth, then they would never play the eight of diamonds, then the ace, then the queen. They would just lead the eight of diamonds and then probably the ten on the next round. And we can take our diamond tricks that way. I mean, maybe I'm supposed to work this out when it goes eight of diamonds to the and then the ace, and then the queen, that our partner doesn't have ace, queen, jack, ten, fifth? I, I guess so. Yeah, I mean, maybe this was, was my fault for overtaking the queen, but I just, I don't understand why we are ever playing diamonds in this order. Oh, what a mess. The robots have really been messing with my understanding of carding. So that's probably not going to be a good score. Well, chat, I think we're not going to be in the money today unless we do something exceptionally good on this hand. And by that, I don't mean opening a no trump. That is not the way I like to try and generate some good results. Diamond, a heart over call, two diamonds, two spades. Yeah. I'm gonna bet three diamonds, three spades. Well. I think pass is the normal thing to do. I'm kind of drawn to double, though. What do they think double shows? Just some random hand with, with some spades and some diamonds. Got it. Seems fair enough. I don't exactly like our chances on defense, but it's probably OK. Why not? Let's give it a try. And I hadn't really considered my opening lead. <laughs> um, I guess I'm going to try a heart. Is that reasonable? It's probably somewhat reasonable, at least. Yeah, let's try a heart. Mm-hmm. Not the best. Guess we'll see how many diamonds get discarded. Hopefully, only two of them. Lots of tanking from Declare, so I guess we might have been able to cash two diamonds and two clubs and maybe rely on getting the Spade King. 
That would certainly have been nice. Oh. Okay, well, partner encouraged in clubs, so I'm going to try this. Or maybe partner discouraged in clubs. <laughs> That's not great. Oh, I don't know why I even tried to cache that trick. That was never caching, was it? Well, sorry, pardon. We could have got two diamonds and one club and two spades to beat this. Yeah, I just needed to lead the ace of diamonds. Too bad. Oh well, I guess that's the event for today. We knew that we were having a bad set midway through and I was trying to get a bit of a strong board to end on. But how'd we end up? 47, yeah, a bit below average. Um, I assume plus 200 would have been a great score on this last deal. Normally I like leading uh, our suit against some of these auctions, but for whatever reason, this hand felt like our best chance to beat it was if partner had heart cards. And I was like sitting behind the minor suit cards of East but wow, we had, we had a very, very strong start through eight boards and then just kind of threw it away. It's a little surprising to me that four diamonds making six is way below average. That seems very weird. I still beat you, Craig. Yeah, that's not surprising. You suck. No offense. Um, <laughs> but sorry. Was that rude? <laughs> that might have been a little rude. Um, <clears throat> yeah, one heart we could have made. You know, things started going downhill around this board where we bid a heart and did not make the contract, or where we opened in fourth seat with eight. Um, but yeah, I thought we were doing a little worse than this. Maybe I'm. Maybe my judgment was a bit off. I wasn't convinced we had such a good such a strong opening set, uh, but anyway, that's going to wrap up uh, the stream for right now. So I think in about an hour, I will be back on, maybe after I get a quick bite to eat, and I will be hanging out with some friends, playing some Hanabi, and there might be a break in the stream in the middle where I have to do some GMT practice with my super secret team um, oh, you pulled up to 49 and a half. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see where things end at the end of the day. I guess I don't have a lot more comparisons to pick up on, but yeah, still below average. Not a good session. Um, but all right, so if anyone's interested in Hanabi, come back later to chat. Stick around. If you don't know about the game, I will um, put in a little nightbot command to let people know. Um, lots of conventions and stuff. It's a cooperative game similar to Bridge. It's a lot like defense and Bridge, a little bit. Um, and I will probably be playing some Bridge on the side, so when things get slow during our Hanabi game, I will have maybe some sort of tournament or something, or maybe Craig wants to do like a team match of sorts with some robots, um, so I could pull up some hands from that. But take care, everyone. I will be back on, like I said, about an hour from now for the first Tanabi stream. So if you're into that, please join me. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow, I think. Tomorrow's Wednesday. I should be on tomorrow at my normal time, 5 p.m. Eastern. Uh, take care. <laughs>